Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Andrew from Posh Designs, and today I have episode 18 on my weekly series called GFX Tip Friday, where I go into Photoshop, After Effects, Cinema 4D, or another demanding editing program, and I show you guys one tip that can be used in everyday editing. Now, today's episode is going to be a really nice 2D animation that can really make a 2D animation or even just a 2D intro really kind of come alive and kind of pop. So if we just scroll on over here into After Effects and we kind of just scroll on my timeline, we can kind of get what we're going to be making here. And it's just kind of almost looks like fireworks exploding. And it's just a really nice effect that can really set off something. So guys, without further ado, let's hop right on in After Effects and let's get started. So right here, I just have a kind of a simple um, composition right here. It's just a gray background. And what we want to do is we want to come up here to our pen tool and basically just kind of click over here. And you want to make sure that you guys click above first and then hold down shift and click down. So right there, we have just a kind of line going on. And then uh, it's going to create a shape layer one if we just want to rename this initial and what we can do is open up the contents of this and go to add and then we're going to go to trim paths and we can open up our trim paths one and basically this is what we want to do is we want to move to zero 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 in our timeline and we want to keyframe the start at 100 percent and we're going to press start and we're going to scroll on over into about five seconds into our timeline and go down to zero percent on our start and then at the same time at a half of a tenth of a second we're going to hit end at 100 percent and we're going to scroll on over to a tenth of a second right there and we're going to lower that down to zero as well so now what we have is this kind of just coming and going now what we we'll want to do is basically just hit on initial and hit R, which is going to pull up our rotation. And we're going to hold down Alt, click on the stopwatch. And basically what you need to do in here is you need to type in index. And you need to go over to your number pad and hold down uh, the uh, times button, which is going to look like that, like the little star button. Hit type in 360 and then a slash. And then however many dashes you want. So this is basically going to turn into a circle. And basically what we want to have it do is have as many dashes as we want. So I'm going to type in 20. I'm going to say enter. And basically what we do is just take the initial, control C and control V, all the way up until it says initial 20. So there's mine. And basically what we can do is ram preview this. And we have it. So guys, if this was a very helpful tutorial, please give this video a big thumbs up. It means a lot and it keeps these videos coming. If you guys would like to see more 2D animation uh, tutorials, definitely leave those in the comment sections below and let me know. Well guys, until next time, my name is Andrew from Posh Designs. I make quality graphics for free and I make your visions a reality. My thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh. Fuck all that shit, just let me go. Words and tastemakers make us no chaser Gets the blood flowing like a fucking pacemaker 